A federal court orders the removal of Maryland's Peace Cross, a World War I monument honoring the memory of 49 men who died on the battlefield. One America's Christian Rose has more on the recent attack against Christianity and American history. A federal appeals court rules to remove the 40-foot Christian cross in Bladensburg, Maryland, which honors the memory of 49 Americans who died in the battles of the First World War. The decision addresses the case brought by the American Humanist Association, an entity which believes in being good without God. The ruling also marks the latest success in attacks against Christianity and the memory of American servicemen who died fighting for the country. The monument, also known as the Peace Cross, was installed back in 1925 by the American Legion and honors the servicemen's valor, endurance, courage and devotion. The Memorial Peace Cross should be part of a historic trust and should not be removed, transferred or changed. The Peace Cross has been a part of the Maryland Historic Places. It needs to be nominated to the National Register. The Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals agreed with the organization's claims the cross violates the Constitution. They say it bears an inherently Christian message and violates the separation between church and state. The American Humanist Association claims to support the values of secular humanism, but it has a long history advocating abortion, the globalist agenda in America's foreign policy, as well as contemporary feminism. This is a call to action for all of us to do something. Yes, we can have conversations, but what is the work we're doing to build community, to have tough conversations, to mess up and to get back up and continue to do the fight? From its very inception in 1941, the American Humanist Humanist Association has focused on providing legal assistance to secular and religious minorities. However, now the group is promoting a failed multiculturalism narrative which corresponds to its attacks against Christianity. Atheists and secularists can feel secure in the knowledge that their allies on the liberal left will stand with them when their target is the far-right Christians. It makes sense. Liberals don't share much, many common values with the religious right. The American Legion, which established the disputed monument over 90 years ago, says it will appeal the court's decision. It says removing the Peace Cross creates, quote, dangerous precedent which threatens erasure of history and the destruction of veterans' memorials across America. The intensified attacks against Christianity are targeting the foundations of America's public order and political governance, which some argue is rooted in Christian morals and Protestant ethics. Christian Rose, One American News.